Okay, uh, my last comment was about photomultipliers and semiconductor uh, photosensors not being worth a damn. That's maybe a bit strong of a statement, but what I was getting at is uh, even pin photodiodes, even expensive pin photodiodes, produce a lot of noise. Um, you stick them in a completely dark chamber and you still get pshhh, it's fact of life. Now, there are avalanche photodiodes and there are um, new technologies emerging, of course. Uh, some kind of array photodiode, I forget what I read. Um, but they have their problems. The, the array version requires a high voltage, like around 250 volts, I believe, and uh, achieves gain on the chip, but they're very expensive. It's an emergent technology. There really is, at this point in time, no equivalent, no reasonable equivalent to outcompete or compete with um, the photomultiplier tube. They are very, very good for a design that crept out of the 30s, the 1930s. It's really amazing. They are fascinating creatures. So let's get with it, shall we? All right, now I've got all this set up so I can quick disconnect the power on the PMT, which is really important because these critters are very sensitive to light. You run them at their uh, nominal voltage, about 900 volts, let's say, and throw a bright light at them. Odds are you'll destroy the tube. That's what they say. And I'm not taking any chances. Now, I got that tube assembly, the whole thing, for like 30 bucks on eBay, which was a steal. But <laughs> that kind of steal won't come around very often. So let's kick up the power on this bad boy, and I'll show you how it works. Um, now you're going to hear a lot of crackles. Some of that is background, and some small part of it is um, that arcing and whatnot. You'll hear the dark current, which sounds like a constant murmur. It's like a kind of sound, but um, it's not much. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that at all, actually. You should be able to. There. That should be audible, right? It may be too audible. <laughs> Maybe a little loud. Let's try that. Okay, hear those really loud pops? That's almost for certain gammas, stray gamma rays, beta rays, uh, beta particles, I should say, alphas and such. Um, pretty energetic. You can take a look at this on an oscilloscope or on a computer-based uh, graphing program, etc. And you can see how uh, the energy levels differ for what's striking it. Now, this little vial I was playing around with, this is another little uh, gem from eBay. This is a little tiny piece of uranium metal, U-238 and trace amounts of U-235. Legal for sale, legal to own. It's just, you know, government regulated, so it can only be strongly, mostly U-238, trace amount of U-235. They just don't want you collecting a whole crap load of this and making an atom bomb out of it, or a dirty bomb, or something like that. Which I suppose you could anyway, but whatever. Anyway, the point is, yes, actual uranium metal. Check this out. Better pop the camera off of there. Now, as I said, all those crackles you're hearing, with the exception of the background fizzle, I think that's just dark current into the PMT, but the louder ones, that's radiation. Now, the crystal sits right about here underneath the uh, plastic, where is it? Right here. Now, listen close when I pull it tight to it. Notice the difference? That's radiation, baby. And that's through the glass of the vial. Now watch this. I try to handle this only when I need to, and I'm trying not to do something stupid like misplace it. 
and I don't pick it up with my fingers, I pick it up with tweezers. I don't want to get too rowdy with radioactive materials, just not a good idea. Uranium has a long and complicated decay chain. Um, decays down through many things, including radium, radon, uh, radioactive isotopes of lead, such as that. May even decay down into thorium somewhere in there, I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, very complicated, and the what they call daughter products um, have their own types of decay. Where uranium decays through alphas, a lot of these daughter products, I understand, uh, create betas and gammas. So with a uranium metal sample, you can cover everything. Check this out. Pretty healthy, huh? It's times like this I wish I had a Geiger so I could see exactly how many uh, rems, millirems, microrems, or whatever it is I'm dealing with. Um, but unfortunately, I don't. So I just have to. I just have to assume that's pretty radioactive. Now, unfortunately. I don't have a different sample to test with at the moment. Working on that. But that gives you an idea. See? Pull it away. Much quieter, right? Stick it back on. And she's hot. Now, in summary, I would like to say uh, that this thing overall cost me what I would consider a fair bit, which means maybe, maybe over 200, although that seems to me like a whopper of an estimate. And that's everything. That's the power supply, the high voltage power supply, the wall works, extension cord, the cookie tin, uh, the uranium sample, um, the breadboard, the discrete parts, the op-amp chips were actually fairly expensive. They were like $19 a pop. I should have shopped around. I found them cheaper after the fact. But, um, and the photomultiplier tube, the aluminum housing, all that stuff. Jacked the price up, and it didn't need to be as high as what I made it in the end. Mostly because I absorbed some financial damage getting that high voltage power supply. It came as a package deal with a lot of other crap that I didn't need. But I was desperate to get it, so I sunk more into it than I wanted to. I think you could build one of these if you were frugal about it and careful and smart shopped and took your time. You could throw one of these together for a scant $100 or less. Pretty easy, I would think. Very easily. Less, definitely. And with all the... Uh, oh, yeah, the scintillator crystal, too. Of course, that was like 20 bucks, $25. Um, awesome crystal. Anyway, uh, yeah, it, it can easily be done. And, uh, and it's very effective. Very effective. I'm surprised, really. Now I need a good radiation sample, radioactive uh, material sample, mineral, or thorite. I want to get some thorite to test it with. And uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that little ditty. Got to run over limit. Hope you enjoyed, and more to follow, no doubt. Bye-bye for now.